you ask us to show the reality. We show you the reality. With my forehead, I can show you everything. This is my country. I'm doing this to my family. I did this for Gaza to show the world without any filters, without any lies. But it's all worthless. All useless. Nothing changed. I literally was going to die today. My life in Gaza before the war was full of limitations and full of depression. I didn't have a plan maybe for my life, but I kept dreaming about things that I want to have, I want to get, I want to reach. I found my passion when I was like 16 years old. I was creating my freedom with my hands in photography. I feel like I'm, I'm doing something, something that healed me from inside. I always dream to be a travel photographer. I wish I reached people with my beautiful pictures for Gaza, not with our suffering. I didn't want to be a war photojournalist, but you don't have the option, you don't have the freedom to choose. I'm a Palestinian living in Gaza Strip, so I, I can't ignore or turn my back. At the beginning of the war, I, uh, I started to film and run in the streets. I was using my basic language, my basic English, my damaged camera body, my lens. The challenges of covering a war, for me, I'm, I'm from there, so it's different. It's like a double pressure on me. It's happening to my people, to my friends, to my family. Tourists were like the most targeted people. <laughs> trying to cover and at the same time trying to survive. I saw it, I was, uh, I was gonna die. Because they opened fire on me. I got some threats. Who are you? Uh, I'm nobody. For Gazan, it's known that no color ID, it's the IDF. Can you tell a story maybe condemning Hamas so this can all end? I've reached millions of people in a few days in the world. And I think maybe this protected me. Many journalists lost their lives. I lost 18 family members. I lost more than 12 close friends. Hatim is a paramedic. I lost Salah and Khalid. They are twins. I lost Mahmoud. I lost Ali. <laughs> I lost my neighbors also. I lost Muhammad, my neighbor. And he was a young guy, full of passion. And uh, they struck his house, full of immigrants, people who came from Gaza. Sort of people who evacuated Gaza. Don't forget also about the journalists I lost, the friends. So, uh, yeah, we lost a lot. So I was filming this and showing the world and no one stopped it. So why should I keep filming? For whom? So this is the last time you will see me with this heavy, stinky vest. Uh, I decided to, uh, <sighs> to evacuate today. I didn't decide to leave until the moment I saw the Israeli tanks that reached the end of my street. I live in a hotel room now. What's well, weird. I can't enjoy anything. I can't feel happy about anything. 
maybe it'll be useful from outside to make some noise, more noise. I didn't expect to be a famous by the war, but in the end, it happened. I don't like it, to be honest. Just like bring me back the people I lost, and bring me back Gaza.